in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make five sliding options infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have added five options each with unique gradient color and i have added a oval shape along with the icon and have added the text on at the bottom and when i click this particular oval shape will go down and then it will reveal the option number one here and it will give the detailed text so let me just show you how it works when i click it goes down the option number one reveals and then this one will light up and then the text will appear here and when i click the second option the third option the fourth and the fifth option so what is the requirement to make this particular slide you can take two approach approach one which is you can take the help of a morph transition the one which i showed you is a morph transition and this is available only in the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 and approach two you can take the animation effects so which is helpful in the older version of powerpoint so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from rectangle select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corners draw that one and make sure that it is fully curved you can see the small orange point just drag it inside you get this particular shape and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to fill a gradient color for that right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill by default there are four st stops i'm just going to delete two and i'm going to remain keep it two so select the first one go to the colors and more colors choose any color of your choice for example let me just go to standard i'm going to select maybe or uh, this color and then i'm going to select the second stop more colors and i'm going to select maybe kind of a uh, pink you can see here different combination you can give then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and make sure that this is perfectly aligning the size should be equal you can see here then shape outline you can make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark colors and if you want you can give some 3d effect also go to effects 3d format and top bevel you can just select this one which is the soft round you can see here and if you want to give some shadow effect also we can give now i'm going to insert the icon for that go to insert click on icons and remember this feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint like powerpoint 2019 and office 365 if you're using older version then this particular icons are not there so let me just go to icons and you can just select any icon of your choice for example i'm just going to select this pie click on insert and i'm going to just reduce the size and i'm going to put it exactly in the center let me just give some shadow effect for that go to insert shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape any size not a problem shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the black color and go to effects you can see here soft edges just increase it you can see here and you can go to again uh, fill and increase the transparency level so you got this perfect shadow effect i'm just going to select this and put it here you can see here and then i'm just going to send this to back then I'm just going to select all these three objects that means the oval shape, the icon and the shadow effect and press ctrl G to group it. Now I'm going to add the text here called on go to insert text box and just type on and make it white color center align and choose any font of your choice. You can see here I'm just going to put it on and this one i'll just move it aside you can see here i'll just move it aside i'm going to type one there let me just select this press ctrl d and i'm going to just type one and increase the size you can see here 
maybe this is enough again put it in the center and bring back to the original position sorry so let me just bring this back and then bring this to front so you can see here I have just placed the text one there just uh, behind this one and then I have added the text at the bottom now I'm just going to select all and just move this aside you can see here now I want to copy this one maybe three four or five options I'm just going to press ctrl D and just it put it here this is you can see here ctrl D so I've got five different options now it's easy for me to just change the colors now I'm going to select this and you can see here I can select the first top go to more colors and for example let me just select different color combinations you need to select for example say orange it goes well with yellow I'm going to select the second stop go to more colors and I'm just going to select maybe yellow you can see here and then I'm just going to select the third one again you can select the combination of blue with this color you can see here you got this kind of combinations so likewise you can just whatever color which you like you can just add those color for example i want to have this green with maybe more lighter green and then this one you can just have it maybe uh this one with more of uh, this color so whatever color which you feel you can just add those colors and then you remember we have added the text one so i just want to replace that with two three four and five for that in the home tab go to select selection pane i'm going to select this you can see here this group and i'm just going to untick this so then it appears i'm just going to make it two again bring this back then i'm going to select this make this as three then select this make this as four and then last one you can see group 36 again make this as five and again show it so you can see here we have just changed the the numbers behind and then let me just close this selection and you can just change the icons also you can just select the icon go to the format you can see here graphic change from icons and you can just select any icon of your choice for example let me just select uh, maybe this icon click insert so you can see here the icon is already replaced likewise you can just change all the icons now this is the first slide is ready now i'm going to make it a duplicate slide for that right mouse click and select duplicate slide so you can see here this is our new slide has been created and i'm going to add the detailed text here go to insert text box i will just say your title center align again choose the font of your choice i'm just going to select this reduce the font size and then you can add some detailed text here add your detailed text you can see here again center align reduce the size again if you want you can just change the font color also and just place it beneath the title and then i'm just going to select this i'm going to drag it down with the help of the down arrow key you can see here something like this and then you can go to the transition tab and i'm going to select the morph you can see here it looks something like this but it's very slow again to increase the speed you can see the duration i'm just going to make it to 0.25 now if i play you can see here it comes very fast so if it is very fast you can make it maybe 0.50 also so you can see here how it is sliding down now for example i just want to select this icon and i want to just change the color to some other color you can go to the graphic fill 
and whichever so that you feel that okay this is a, a lighting up for example let me just go to more fill colors and i'm just going to select this green color you can see here and then you can go to effects and you can just select any glow effect also for example let me just select this one you can see here some glow effect is happening so you can just do like that or if you want you can just select the outline also to white let me just select to white outlines and if you want you can give some more light effect also so let me just show you how it looks when i click you can see here it is switching on and switching off effect and then you can see the text also the title also appearing so you can see here uh, the first option we did now if i want to do the second option i should not do that in the same slide i have to duplicate this slide so again right mouse click duplicate the slide you can see here and then i'm just going to select this and hold the shift key and select this go to format align and align bottom so automatically this comes at the bottom and this becomes the vis two is visible so again this color also i'm just going to select the icon again the same color i'm going to choose and you can give the glow effect as well and then i'm just going to copy this press ctrl d and just paste it here so let me just show you how it works again the first slide you can see here and when i click then the second comes with the green icon here so likewise you can just do the remaining uh the other slides or uh, sorry other options by adding the new slide again right mouse click duplicate slide select this and this go to format align bottom and the third is visible again change the color to green the same color you can see here and then i'm just going to add the text here so just likewise you can just complete the other one by adding the duplicate slides so far we have seen how this particular slide works what happens if there is no morph option available in your powerpoint version then we have to take a different route actually so uh, we can use the help of the animations for example say this one we have not done anything so let me just show you i'm going to select this one the only thing is we cannot just change the color like we are doing for the morph so i'm just going to select this one in case we don't have this morph transition so i'm just going to the animations i'm um, let me just close this add animation i'm going to select this line can you see here motion path line so it comes down something like this and let me just enable the animation pane and i'm going to just drag this one by holding the shift key down okay so it looks perfectly all right so let me just play and see yeah so but it is very slow to make it more faster let me just double click this remove the smooth start and smooth end and go to the timings you can just make it very fast and click ok so it comes something like this and then you can just press ctrl d and this one also you can just add the maybe example appear effect you know so this one happened after previous so if you play it comes something like this so if you don't have the morph transition then you go for this particular animation effect that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye